Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this community clash of Europa Universalis 4. Let me just double check to see which community clash this is, because I did have that listed, but I don't remember offhand. This is community clash number 11. 11! Anyway, we are all here at the moment. We do have a couple of players missing. Ulm has resigned from the game, and I've been told that there are plans for Ulm now. Also, Austria is not here today. So Lake Bellaton is going undefended. We've already had a couple of connection issues. We had some really, really major number issues, you know, the, with the regular multiplayer thing. And we're pretty sure it's because Lake Bellaton at the moment is going unguarded. However, the big news, of course, is the war between the United States and Great Britain. I'm trying to remember whose side Inca are on. Inca are on the side of Britain. Interesting. And I'm assuming that Britain's going to be able to maintain naval superiority against the United States, meaning that they will be able to import Incan troops if they need to. A part of this will depend on whether Texas is giving access. Grants military access to Inca. So yes, Texas is granting access to the Incans. So we are going to see Incan troops flooding through. In which case, the question is going to be who has the superior quality. United States on military 23, Inca's military 23, and Great Britain's military 23. Inca have plus 10 in everything. United States have plus 10 in everything except for artillery. And Britain have 10 in everything. Morale. Britain has 5. Inca have 6.2. United States have 5.8. So Inca's forces, I would say, are the superior forces at the moment with Britain and the United States being roughly equal. But Britain is almost certainly going to have the numerical superiority. 67 for them. In fact, the easiest way to check would be here. Oh boy. Yeah, 40,000 English infantry, 8,000 cavalry, 27,000 artillery. So they've gone for a very heavy artillery support regime. Good against forts. Yeah, I guess they'd be pretty decent in fights as well. We'll need to see what the uh, combat width is. And then the British side has 154,000 infantry, 23,000 cavalry, and 80,000 artillery. So I think a lot of this will depend on A, how good the Brits are transporting troops across, B, when Inca arrive, C, whether the US has got any forts to hold the front against the people that they're not fighting at that moment. They have a couple of forts. What level are they? Level 6, level 6, level 6. Okay, so he's fortified. Uh, there is definitely a scattering of them. Flatlands, swamp, hills, forest, hills. So not really defending any mountains or anything like that. And if we just go to the simple terrain overview, we can see if there are any mountains. There's some up here. There's some here. Oh, they do have a mountain in the fort in the in the uh, the mountains there. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess having forest. Forts would be the best. We do have a unit coming in here, so this is 33,000 against 5. The Americans taking the minus 2, right there. Hello. Hello. Uh, just letting you know that we are now playing. Yes, I finally. <laughs> Huzzah! Finally! Alright, so the British are going through and just trying to mop up a bunch of the uh, colonial forces. 47,000 manpower. How much is Inca's on? 67,000 and Britain's on... 51,000. I'm so glad that I can click on that tiny bit of Ireland, because America hasn't actually seen Britain. So the big question here is, is anybody else going to jump on the fact that Britain is currently distracted? I think that's going to be America's main chance here. And the fact that their forces are quite spread. America will have a much easier time consolidating their troops. For example, if these 50,000 went and bipped them and then buffed them, that would set them ahead. And basically using their high-level forts just to hold the enemies up. Because Britain so far is not doing a very good job of consolidating their forces. They are very spread out. When Inca arrives, though, that's when things are going to change. Texas is starting to arm. Doesn't look like Inca's moving very much. This looks to be primarily a Britain versus... US 
conflict. I think the kingmaker here could potentially be Texas. It depends on how good relations between the United States and Texas are. The US does not have any allies. Any other wars going on? Phaonix is currently fighting against Ulm, so the petition of Ulm has begun. And then Shan is currently fighting against Pandaranga. So just trying to take over the rest of Southeast Asia. Here come the Americanos. Looks like the Brits have noticed and are pulling away. Moving in to reinforce Pirate Vinland here. This is going to be a hill battle. There might even be a river involved. The Americans are holding steady for the moment. Are they going in? Adrianok. Yes, they are. So this is going to be 66 against 59,000. There are a couple of other colonial troops here, but no other British. So the Americans are going to hold the numerical superiority. Oh, the Brits have no general policy. They do. Oliver Northumberland. So Britain's on a minus one. It's 111% discipline. That's something I forgot to check. 506 discipline for the Americans. The Americans do have the superior general, a 5-4 versus a 5-0. And it does look like the initial fight is going to go the way of the Americans. They are actually doing an absolute ton of damage. Crikey. No, that's because they're fighting artillery in the front line. And here come the uh, American. Oh, sorry, the British. The British trying to get into position. We've got their 40,000, 50,000 against 25,000. The British are force marching. I don't know if the Americans are. The Americans are not force marching. They will not catch the British. The British will escape. So, good early victory there for the Americans, but this does mean that the British are going to now be consolidated and will be able to fight together. And the British together do outnumber the Americans. Can I check your AI? I can't. I can only see what they're doing. So, Austria right now is fighting against Shan. <laughs> the Austrian Shan imperialist war. Probably over Australia. Aust Aust Australia. That place. <clears throat> but it is only against Shan. AI settings not working then. Okay. In fact, that doesn't surprise me. I think AI settings are only saved by the host. So the fact that you are not hosting today means that we have no AI settings. That is a problem we have seen in the past. Unless you gave your save to Poe, in which case maybe? But yeah, this game has definitely been a example of things going wrong <laughs> when it comes to the background stuff. So America is currently just roaming around doing stuff. Uran do have some troops hired out. And if Uran's hiring out, then maybe Texas will. Texas do have a lot of troops down here, potentially to try and block the Incas. Has Texas still got... Texas is actually allied with Inca. And they do continue to give them military access. I think that this is going to be down in large part to whether Inca decide to show up or not. I wonder if Texas has said, don't. Texas may well be saying to Inca, if you get involved, I get involved. Because Texas isn't going to want Britain growing here any larger. Probably don't want America growing any larger. In fact, the best outcome here is for Britain and America just to kill each other. And the British are doing blockades. Not blockading everything. They're kind of leaving this to their colonials who aren't doing a very good job of it.
So who else could intervene here? Sweden. Sweden would really be the only one. And I don't think there's any real reason for them to do so. Except maybe to steal some of Vinland. Pirate Vinland being annexed into the real Vinland would be kind of interesting. Would Sweden have the strength to do it? Yeah, I would say they would. 60,000 additional forces, several three-star generals. The question for Sweden would be whether they can actually transport troops over. They would need to take a, uh, a risk. They would need to either commit fully to Vinland or attack Britain. And in fact, Britain's ships are probably over in the Americas. And in fact, if we switch over to Britain, I don't want to spy exactly where their ships are, because that's kind of unfair in case people are stream sniping, which I really hope they're not. Britain has 66 ships, of which we've seen 24 out here. Oh no, 20, 40. So there might be 20 heavy ships hiding elsewhere. And then how many ships does Sweden have? Sweden has 10 heavies, 20 lights, 20 transports. So if they did like a sneak attack, then maybe. Also, is this a war between great powers? Neither Britain nor America are great powers. So no interventions possible. Oh, except Inca on one side. Oh, Inca aren't a great power either. All right, so the British are now attacking into Massachusetts. Moving down towards Connecticut and New York. I'm just saying the modern states. Also, this is a practice for geography for me. Although New England I know pretty well. And where are the Americans? Here are 37,000, here's another 30,000. America is down to 18,000 manpower. Okay, discipline was the other thing I meant to check, so... Uh, that's military tactics, where's discipline? 105 for the Americans, 110 for the British, and then 116 for Inca. Yeah, Inca's forces are stronger than either side here. I'm seeing a lot of red flames, we'll check those in a minute. Seems like lots of the Netherlands is being sieged on by Ulm. Okay, we have a battle coming in. The British are responding to this far more quickly than the Americans are. I think this is a big mistake for the Americans, because their troops are miles away still. Minus two for America, this is not a fort province. Three shock for the colonials. Five fire for the Americans, the American fire is far superior. Britain is not committing all of their troops. A couple of them still waiting. They have another 50,000 men here. This was a terrible decision for the Americans. The Americans have artillery in the front row who are currently getting destroyed. And they've taken a minus two battle. And actually the Colonials have 116 discipline. Yeah, that was a big defeat for the Americans. I'm gonna say they're gonna struggle a little bit to recover from that. Because they just don't have the manpower to commit to this. Uh, yes, so there is. So the Americans have hired a couple of uh, condottieri from other people. Uh, there were reports coming in that the Netherlands is being sieged by Ulm. No, it's the other way around. The Netherlands is sieging Ulm down. So Milan is currently fighting against Ulm. Magintanao is currently fighting against the Kamchandals. I didn't think they existed. Where are you? You don't exist. So how on earth are you fighting the Kamchandals? The Kamchandals are the nation now known as Texas. Oh, there they are. Hawaii. Okay, so the Kamchandals are just Hawaii. Then Japan's going to be in that war as well. Netherlands we know are fighting Ulm. And Shan is fighting Austria. And also Padarunaga. See, this is good guy Austria coming in to save uh, Padarunaga. <laughs> so the Americans do look like they have consolidated some new forces. They are going significantly 
over their force limit. They are spending a lot of money. They are getting subsidies from the Netherlands. Not a huge amount, and certainly not enough to offset the money that they're spending. I think if I were them, I'd stop rooting out corruption right now. You don't need to spend that money. And the Royal Navy is still here. Oh, we've got more blue flags. Blue flames. So we have Russia going up against the Ottomans. Russia finally deciding that these steps are belong to them. Although, judging by the complete lack of troops moving, I'm guessing that this is a pre-arranged deal. So we're probably going to see some of these steps switching to Russia. I think this is Russia going, you were quite weak in that last war, so how about you give me that stuff? So Britain continues to siege down more stuff. If we switch over to the Americans, they've lost one fort here in Boston. The next one would be Munsey. The British being quite good about keeping troops close together. American go up in a naval tech. American Navy hold up here in uh, Unami. Last time the ledger was off, now it's on. The ledger's never been on. Uh, never been off. As far as I'm aware. Russia wants their Cossacks. And there we go. Massive chunk of the step there. Switching hands from Russia to the Ottomans. And in fact, if we take a look from the Ottoman perspective, we can see that they've lost the whole of Crimea. They've lost these bits to... Oh, no, that's Commonwealth. And then all of this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces switched over to Russia. And yeah, this is all going to be step. So they do indeed want some more Cossacks. And the Ottomans being cut even more down to size, although that's not going to be a huge amount of development they've lost. Ottomans aren't even a great power anymore. How the mighty have fallen. Crikey. They used to be number one. And they've dropped off the table completely. More than eight. I don't think so. Uh, if if it was, they never caught it, which is going to make this a lot more difficult to see. Yeah, cores have been cancelled actually this year. That's a bit harsh. Forcing them to drop cores as well as taking the territory. In that case, yeah, the Ottomans did lose all of this, so that's more than. However many provinces, as I just said, it's like 16. Not more. Meanwhile, over here, this is where the true war is at the moment. Oh, no, we've got Andalusia fighting... Ah, okay, so we've had an intervention. Brazil is currently fighting against Inca. And this is a proper war, so Brazil are starting to move over. We do have Andalusia supporting the Brazilian side. Inca, Britain, and Texas currently fighting against them. Britain's going to be in no position, really, to fight back here. I wonder if Andalusia is going to be taking the Valerics. The good old island of Mordred, Viking. <laughs> uh, because they would definitely have the opportunity, because Britain's ships are going to be very busy elsewhere. So Inca's definitely going to be rallying against this threat. I wonder if Texas are. Texas at the moment are not. And Uran still has a couple of forces condottieri out to the United States, but not really doing very much. Meanwhile, the British hordes continue to march across the borders. We have some Americans moving to the south. Uh, I guess they took Miami and then somehow lost it. And then they were going to retake it and then saw that all of these troops were here, so probably decided not to. But yeah, this intervention by Brazil is an interesting one because they are bringing a lot of troops in here. 267,000 infantry against uh, 316. So the British side still outnumber them, but because the British are completely distracted fighting against the Americans, this is technically only really Inca and Texas versus Brazil and Andalusia. 20,000 cavalry against 17, 110,000 artillery against 120. So really it's the infantry side which is massively outnumbering. I believe that if you cross the international dateline when clicking on the shield for the capital then it sends you to the right longitude but to the top of the map. Clicking it again sends you to the right spot because you don't have to cross the dateline. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> 